Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the iPhone 14 Pro. I pre-ordered the phone, but I was a little bit late to the drop and my phone didn't get here until like a few days ago. So I finally got the phone in the mail and I'm so excited to unbox it. Just a few disclaimers before we get into it. Number one, I am not like a tech channel. I barely know anything about tech in general. So this is just for fun. Second thing is that I am extremely grateful to be able to have a new phone. This definitely isn't a necessity for my life, I guess being a content creator, my phone is very important to my job. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to explain myself when I purchase something with my own money, but I've never purchased an iPhone at the iPhone drop. I've always like waited like a few years even to purchase the iPhone. I currently have the iPhone 13, just the regular iPhone 13, and I want to upgrade it. So I got the iPhone 14 Pro in silver. This is 128 gigs. So yeah, I'm going to unbox this. The box is very slim, and I know because from watching a few other unboxings, there is no charging box. It's a little bit annoying if this is your first phone. I want to try and make this like aesthetic ASMR, so I'm going to do my best. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. Oh my god, the camera is huge. Like you can see it in the box, the cameras are massive. The back is matte, which I really, really like. And I really like this color. The phone I have now is like the midnight color and I don't love it, but it was the only one that they had. So I just got it because obviously there was something else, but I do prefer to have a white iPhone or silver because I feel like it just looks better with different cases. I don't know, I like a brighter white. I'm scared to take it out of the box. It's so pretty. All right. And then in the box, there is the little charger. This is like the USB-C charger. And then of course, little Apple instructions with like a little sticker and all that stuff. I usually don't look at that, so. The sides are like mirrored. I think that's really cool. I'm already getting fingerprints on it. Time to peel off this paper thing. So I'm gonna try my best not to touch this until I put a screen protector on and a case because I'm so nervous I'm gonna drop this. I just need to set this down and get everything in order. That actually brings us to today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. Thank you so much to Casetify for partnering with me for this video and giving me some really, really cute cases and accessories for my new phone. Casetify was so kind as to send me some really cute phone cases from their iPhone 14 collection. So let me show you all the cases that I got. We have this really groovy, looking case here. I love the colors, very, very cute. Casetify's cases are EcoShock and Military Standard and they're drop tested from 11.5 feet. So they are sure to keep your phone super, super protected. I feel like a lot of phone cases that are made to protect your phone do look kind of bulky, but Casetify's cases are very sleek and slim so it doesn't ruin the aesthetic of the phone. For the second case, we have another very groovy floral pattern. I love the blue and green, of course. Those are like my favorite colors, so I love this case. There's hundreds of prints to choose from and even customizable options. I actually got this case customized. I love having a clear case. I feel like it just is a good staple to have because it just goes with everything. But this case is actually really cool because it is customized with my name on it. So it's very easy to customize the font and the text on your phone. And lastly, I have this butterfly case. I love butterflies, so this is adorable. Case Defy's cases are also very sustainably made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials. It's good to know that your phone case was made sustainably. So these are the four cases that I got. I don't know which one I want to add. I think I want to go with this clear one with my name on it just so that I can really show off the features of the new phone that I got. 
Along with protective cases, Casetify also sells protective gear for your phone, such as screen protectors, beaded phone straps, phone slings, and even lens protectors, which I will for sure be adding to my phone. The camera lens protectors are scratch proof, but it's great because they don't disrupt the quality of your camera, which is like one of the main reasons why this phone is so special because the camera is supposed to be amazing. Same with the tempered glass screen protector. It's scratch resistant, thin, it even blocks blue light which is really, really great. And it has an anti-fingerprint coating. And the phone straps are great for hands-free usage for your phone. And they're really pretty and customizable, so you can't go wrong with these. If you are looking for a great case to protect your phone or some phone accessories, you can use my link to get 15% off your order at Casetify and check out all their collections and see if there's anything that you like. It'll be linked in my description, so you should definitely, definitely check it out. Okay, I have the case on my phone and it would not be a true Casetify video if I didn't do a drop test. Now, this is how much trust I have in Casetify. I'm going to take my new phone that I just bought and I'm going to drop it from six feet to show you how good Casetify's cases are at protecting your phone. You cannot say that I don't trust Casetify with my whole heart because I paid a lot of money for this phone and I'm about to drop it from very high. So let's find a place to drop this. Okay, I'm in my living room right now. I'm very, very nervous. I don't wanna do this, but in the name of science, I have to do this to show you guys how much I love these cases. I'm gonna drop it from six feet. I'm around 5'10", so I think if I hold it like this and just let it go, that should be enough height. Okay, moment of truth. Not a scratch on it. A few fingerprints, but that's to be expected because I have been manhandling it for the past like five minutes. The case and the screen protector and the camera lens protector did a great job. Everything is good. Check out the link in my description to get 15% off your case to buy order. Now it is time to actually activate this thing and get all my apps going. Find out all the features that this phone has. <sighs> I might have put the case on a little bit premature because I think I have to put a SIM card in. Okay, we're kind of up close and personal here, but I just want to show you guys what's happening at the same time. Okay, so I can do the quick start, which is what I want to do because I really don't want to set it up manually because it's kind of boring. All I have to do is hold my old phone close to it and then just press continue. And it's connecting. Okay. Okay, that was faster than I expected. So now I have to do face ID. All right, face ID is set up. I'm going to transfer my iCloud. I have a lot of pictures and everything should be backed up on my phone. I have it back up automatically. Setting up my Apple ID. I will set up Hey Siri later because I don't wanna do that now. Now I will wait while I restore iCloud data. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm prepared to be here for a few minutes. So while I wait for this, I will remove my SIM card from my old phone. I hope this phone comes with a device to remove my SIM card. Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. So I'll use this to take out my old SIM card and put it in the new phone. I probably should have done this before I started setting it up, but um, I'm not a tech channel, so I really don't know the correct procedure to getting a new phone. All right, I think my phone is ready now. So my phone screen layout is exactly the same as on my other phone. Everything is just taking a second to download and everything. So I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes, just let it, let it get started. And then I could start looking around at the new features of this phone. The biggest thing I've noticed so far is that this little guy at the top here, where the camera usually is, it's like a little widget. Like you can touch it and it like does something. I don't know what it does yet, but we're gonna find out in a second. Okay, let me just clean up a bit because <laughs> my bed is just a mess. I have little things everywhere, so. Okay, so it's a few days later. The apps actually took like about an hour to finish downloading and just like transfer all the data. So I decided to stop filming that day and pick up today when I had a few days to really see all the features of the phone. I'm going to share some of my favorite features that I've learned so far. First off is the little widget at the top. I like that when I listen to music on 
Spotify. You can see what you're listening to and I don't know, I just think it's really cute. I love listening to music so being able to see my songs there is just like a really cute addition. The camera is something that is completely different from my last phone. Not completely different but it's definitely a lot better than my last phone. Just because of the camera quality, I'm able to do three times zoom and it's like actually crazy good. It's a little bit dark in my room right now so it's kind of hard to get like the best quality just because it's a really cloudy day but this feature is really really cool this feature isn't exclusive to the iphone 14 but it's part of ios 16 so i thought i would include it but i do love the idea of being able to change your lock screen so right now i have this picture of my family from like a million years ago but i do like to be able to easily change it to a bunch of different lock screens so i think that that's really cute those are the new features that i've been loving on this phone i really really like this phone i'm very happy with my purchase and the cases are so cute i've been using the clear case so far and it's really cute but i think this weekend i'm going out so i think i want to change the phone cases to match my outfit honestly you can check out my instagram just to see how i like use the phone cases and different outfits and stuff thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video was just for fun so i hope you enjoyed thank you all so much for the continuous support and being able to allow me to make these types of purchases to better my content i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video